Hello and good morning. We are coming together to celebrate our God and we start with a prayer. Holy Father, we are here to come into your presence and just share all that you have done for us and just celebrate it. And we are coming here to, to, to pray to you, to read your words, to have your testimony in our hearts. And we are asking you, Holy Spirit, that you just release everything that we, we need for our day to understand your goodness in your holy name. Amen. Amen. So, <clears throat> I want to start in, um, in the Old Testimony, and there it is in the chapter of Leviticus, so third Moses, and there we step into the chapter 23 and the verse 1 and 2. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites. Tell them, Here are my appointed feast days. They are the appointed feast days of the Lord. Tell the people that they must come together for these sacred assemblies. So this chapter in the Bible is about feasts, not just celebrations. So it's like a holy feast, feasts of the Lord. And you know maybe some of them, it's like the Pentecost. Now we are aiming now for, for Easter here in Germany and we also know the, the Feast of Pentecost. And the feast, um, the Israelites, they, they celebrated the Feast of Pentecost. So that is also mentioned in the 23rd chapter. And we have the Feast of Booths and we have sel several other and also the, um, how we call it, the Sunday. So not to work on Sunday. It's all in that chapter. So why I'm, uh, why I'm speaking about these verses, uh, I just want to remi remind us that God placed several feasts, celebrations. And now I want to step into the New Testimony, into the book of Luke, and there it is chapter 8, and we have there 5 to 8, the verse and the verse 11 to 15. And maybe you know it, it's, of the, it's about the farmer, the story of the farmer who's doing the seed. A farmer went out to plant his seed, so that's verse 5. He scattered the seed on the ground, some fell on a path, people walked on it, and the birds ate it up. Some, uh, sell, some seed fell on rocky ground. When it grew, the plants dried up because they had no water. Other seed fell among thorns. The thorns grew up with it and crowded out the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil. It grew up and produced a crop hundred times more than the farmer planted. When Jesus said this, he called out, whoever have, has ears to listen should listen. And then some verses after, there is the explanation of these, what Jesus mentioned. And in verse 11, he says, here is what the story means. The seed is God's message. The seed on the path stands for God's message in the hearts of those who hear. But then the devil comes. He takes away the messages from their hearts. He does it so they won't believe. Then they can't be saved. The seed on rocky ground stands for those who hear the message and receive it with joy. But then they have no roots. They believe for a while, but when they are tested, they fall away from the faith. The seed that fell among thorns stand for those who hear the message. But as they go on their way, they have a choked they, they are choked by life's worries, riches, and pleasures, so they do not reach full growth. But the seed on good soil stands for those with a honest and good heart. Those people hear the message, they keep it in their hearts, they remain faithful and produce a good group. So what, what have these passages in common? So it's totally different content, I would say. So my, my topic for today is that we have best memories, best memory, and we should celebrate the past. So that is my topic, and what, why do I need these passages of the Bible? In the Old Testimony, in, in Leviticus, we, we read that God placed feast that we should celebrate, where we should come together, where we should celebrate the goodness and the greatness, and whatever God is, we should come together, and God placed several feasts that we the, the Israelites should, uh, should celebrate. 
and then I come to the farmer who plays the seed on the ground and it has different um, takeouts at the end. And I compare these passages in, in, the, uh, in the matter that we often in life, we are struggling that we have not the right memories. We, we, I, I compare it like that the farmer placed the seed in the ground and in, we in our life, we have so many seeds in our hearts what God, God has done for good things in our life. Like that we, we came in together with Jesus Christ, that we are, we are believers, we are already believers of Jesus Christ. Or what, where, where we came to the baptize, maybe, when you have been baptized that day. Or where, where Jesus healed you from, from a disease, or where he just supported you with, with money, with, with growth that you need in that, in, that, um, in that time. And it fell on the ground and it grew up, and sometimes we lose our memories of things we have already experienced with God, with Jesus. We just lose it because it fell on the ground that has not the right soil. And I want to remind us that we should celebrate our memories that we have of Jesus Christ. Celebrate the memories that we have with our strong God and not forgetting them, let them fall on the ground on the soil that is not prepared. Because the memories we have of our holy God is our treasures. It's, it's your perfect treasure in your heart. It's, it's your treasure. It's not my treasure, you, the memories you have. You can share them with me, but in the end, it's, it's your treasure. So maybe you are, sometimes you are, are, um, you're sad. Sometimes you have, you know, you're not feeling strong, you're feeling weak. Then take out your memories that you have already um, seen by God, the memories that God had given to you. So I'm not saying that you should live past related, so just stay in your memories and look at your memories and not looking for the future. But I'm also saying not just living for the future. So some people, uh, they, we are just focusing on the future because we say our, our current time, the time we have right now, it's, so, it's, so, it's not what we are aiming for. I'm living for the future. And then the others are just living for the past and they are, sometimes you can also have a, a, a bad look or a bad view on the past so that you have not strong memories like treasures from God, you have weak memories where you just say, this and that happened to me and that is why I'm this and that um, person. So d don't take the bad, the bad experiences, don't take the bad memories that you have Take the memories that God already has given you, the treasures of your heart, and bring them out. Bring the treasures out again to also place it in, in the day-to-day. -day. Place it in the, in, for the future. Share it with your family. Share it with your friends. Share it with your colleagues. The memories we have, they are our treasures. And that we want to, to share and we want to celebrate it. So I want to step into the Psalms, um, and there it is, 143, verse 5. And it's a Psalm of David. And when you read that Psalm, it starts very in a bad mood, with not being very strong. It starts being like heavy situations, heavy load. But then there is a, a sudden change in that Psalm, and this is the verse 5. And there um, David says, I remember what happened long ago. I spent time thinking about all your acts. I consider, I consider what your hands have done. So David records what God has done in his life. And that is what I want to, to encourage you today. That you also remind yourself what God and Jesus has done in your life. So if you are weak, not strong, if you are whatever situation, do it like David. I remember what happened long ago and it will suddenly change your mind. It will give strength to your inner, inner person, to your spirit. I spend time thinking about all your acts. So take your time, not just say it's not worth of it. Memories are very strong. Mem memories we have, what God has placed in us already, they are strong to feed your to feed, you, to feed you today. I consider what your hands have done. So give God, God the glory. So all the feasts that we have read in the Old Testimony, the feasts are made to give God the glory. So they, they were 
times where the congregation came together and they give the glory to God in several kind of manners. Give God the glory. And how can you do this? Not to forget it. There's also a good passage, and we maybe all know it from Christmas times. It's in Luke chapter 2 and the verse 19. And it's about Mary. And you know, there was, uh, were two situations in the life of Mary where, the, uh, where they, she had a very um, strong experience. One was when the angel came and said, you will be pregnant. And then the second one was when, when Jesus was born on Christmas time. And then it says in the verse 19, chapter 2 of Luke, but Mary kept all these things like a secret treasure in her heart. She thought about them over and over. So take the precious moments, take what you have from God and keep it like a treasure. That's, I, I, I really now often mention this. You have a treasure in your heart and it's a secret treasure for you. You can share it with whom you ever want, but it's, it's, it's to be shared in your heart. Not just let it run and keep it like not, not important. Keep it like it is a treasure. And she thought about it over and over. So I would really um, encourage us to take our memories we have, the things that God has done, and just write them down line by line. How you came to Jesus, how you have been healed at that situation, how you have been encouraged by someone. Take these memories and write them down and remind yourself again over and over that they can have a strong place and that the seed can grow and you will also then take 100, um, how is it said, it's like having a good soil and then you have maybe 100% of, um, yeah, of more and more seeds. So that's my word for today. You have best memories and celebrate your past because it's, it's very important and it's very strong what God has already done in your life. Amen. And this morning we just remind ourselves again what you have already done. Jesus, what you have done, we will also celebrate in the next week when we celebrate Easter time. And we, we also have this other feast here, what we um, celebrate together, Christmas time, Easter, whatever it is. But the, the best feast we have in our own heart, when we ce just celebrate by our own the, the goodness of God in our life. And I just... I just celebrate what you have done in my past. I just celebrate what you will do in my future. And it's for all of us. It's for you and me. And you will do it, Jesus Christ. I just thank you for, for the reminding of the memories that I have, that we have with you. Amen.